Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to prepare and study the characteristic IV curve of the PN junction diode. So firstly we are going to start our electronics workbench. So here is the electronics workbench app. I have installed it from the web link. Uh, here are the various components which are used for preparation of the electric circuit. Now for studying the PN uh, characteristic curve, we first take a DC source. Now uh, we will take a PN junction diode from here. Uh, we need to connect this uh, DC power supply to this PN junction diode like this now we need to put a load resistance from here just uh, rotate this load resistance so as to make it perfect uh, now we also need a ammeter for uh, measuring the current in the circuit From here you can get the ammeter. So bring this ammeter and keep it over here. Just rotate it out and then connect the two ends. Now we need to connect a voltmeter which could measure the voltage across this PN junction diode. So here is the voltmeter. Now just rotate it connect the two ends now our circuit preparation is complete now we need to vary the voltage in the positive direction and record the voltage across the uh, pn junction diode and also the current in the circuit let me take this resistance to be 470 ohm And we need to set this PN junction diode to this one N4001. Now let's apply a voltage of 100 volt. Uh, here you can switch on the circuit and record the voltage and current. Again we can change it out to 120 volt. Then record the uh, voltage across the PN junction diode and the current in the circuit. Similarly we will put 140 volt and record the values in this way we will uh, uh, keep on doing and uh, obtain the data table for the v and i uh, in the forward biased case now for the reverse bias condition we need to apply a negative voltage across this dc source so let's put minus 10 volt and measure the current and voltage so here you can notice that we are getting a negative voltage and a negative current. We can vary this uh, uh, negative voltage and simultaneously record the voltage across the PN junction diode and the current in the circuit. You can note that at around minus 50 volt, we are getting a steep increase in the current in comparison to the measured voltage. And if I start increasing this voltage further, the current in the circuit increases exponentially. So this 50 volt actually marks the breakdown voltage of this circuit. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.